Cancer, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Tony. I have a channel tarot card message for you today using the Cartomancy. Actually, the Gold Universal Tarot deck today to pull in some messages from the spiritual divine. Let's see what the angels and the ancestors have to say in regards to success for you. What's coming up for you in regards to success, finance, business, uh, whatever that means to you. Maybe success in relationships or we're focused on um, monies, uh, business and abundance at this time. All right. Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we continue to grow. And don't forget to check out your moon, rising, Venus, and north node placements as well. Uh-oh, we got the rain coming. Let's see what the messages are for you today, Cancer. This may be a quick one. A quick message for Cancer. What are the messages for Cancer today, Spirit, in regards to abundance, success, and finance? Okay, we have one jumper, Judgment 1010. All right, needing to make a judgment call at this time, right? You could be focused on the people or the people could be focused on you. You're being judged or you're judging the people. This could be a barrier to entry here. Maybe you're some sort of a stage performer, some sort of a celebrity, a whistleblower here. Earth angel, star child. There's a lot of abundance though. Could be delivering some sort of a speech, maybe a motivational speaker. You have some sort of a higher perspective here up in the clouds. A lot of people can be very sexually attracted to you as well. So uh, it goes hand in hand with advertisement and building abundance for the near future, right? So this is a projection throughout the rest of the year since we have pretty much most of the year already gone. We have, uh, was it Thanksgiving and then the summertime, um, Christmas coming up, right? The winter time, which is hibernation season. So yeah, more sex sales. This could be you traveling. So maybe your doorway into uh, success is through traveling. Again, maybe you're some sort of a stage performer or you go around giving some sort of a speeches. It reminds me of TED Talks. It's content creation. This could be different interviews on different social media, uh, different platforms as well. Maybe you're some sort of a, a special guest here. Abundance here, yeah. I'm almost getting like morning radio or talk show or something like that. But this could definitely be something like uh, maybe you own your own, con you, you create your own content or you could be some sort of a content creator. Maybe you work with children as well here because we having, we're having all this naked sex. Someone wants to come towards you or <laughs> there's a sexual conquest on the way here that's going to produce children. <laughs> Very abundant, right? Without the future, without children, there can be no, um, without children, there can be no future. There can be no abundance, right? We know that the only way the stock market expands is the more and more people are born, the more and more people get to take, uh, they get to be included into these things, right? Into these systems. We have the Ten of Pentacles, exactly. Stock market, Forex trading, this could be crypto. Um, yeah, a lot of abundance, a lot of success, a lot of wealth, legacy here. A lot to maintain and then we have justice showing up right which is business which is relationships right uh, which is martyr which is righting wrongs which is balance and peace nine of Pentacles yeah there's a lot of abundance headed towards you here uh, cancer it probably has something to do with the home life as well being a fourth house you're attracting a lot of abundance so this may be a work from home job here yeah, you're in place or you're stagnant. You're on hold here. Mm -hmm. You're on call, pretty much. This could be, this could be like an on-call nurse, right? We know that the medical industry, these people make the most money. <laughs> it could be pregnancy as well. Mm. Is someone, some sort of a, what do you call these nurses that uh, they're like, they work with like mothers and people that's, that's having children? A doula is what this could be, yeah. Someone that has integrity, maybe some sort of a uh, religious or spiritual standards or boundaries here. You could be um, a pastor or a preacher or someone very righteous, right? You understand the difference between good and bad and right and wrong. Have a strong sense of justice, right? Try to hold people accountable. Comes out The Hierophant comes out on top of, of the sun, which would be Leo. So Taurus on top of Leo here. Very abundant, right? I won't talk about how... Uh, we do animals here in the system, but yeah, we use animals for so many different things. They try not to waste an inch of it. Ace of Swords on top of the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely an, a moment for you, some sort of a clarity or truth for you to be able to uh, getting document several contracts, 
So this could be keeping track of your receipts. So yeah, I was talking to um, one of my mentorees four o'clock in the morning last night about keeping track of receipts and that sort of thing, right? Running literally everything through your business account so that you don't have to keep track of receipts and you can just go through your business account, go through your bank account statements while literally simultaneously holding up the tax books and the tax codes, seeing what you can write off when tax season turns or comes back around. So all that money that you spent that you can literally uh, write off as a business expense, right? You can literally get that money back. So this is what's coming down the line for you here, right? Let's clarify justice, which is business. You can have marriage on the way for you as well. Did I mention that, Hierophant? And a child. Maybe you're building legacy for your family. Yeah, a child here, the star child, the highlights, the celebrity, an opportunity, a wish fulfillment headed towards you. Maybe if someone's wishing for marriage or wishing for togetherness, this uh, reminds me of the Make-A-Wish Foundation, which I was a part of right before I had my life-saving surgery, right? In which I got a lot of things, but a lot of it was uh, technology here. So, yeah, you're using technology here to uh, better yourself or create some sort of a, a business, right? Post-pandemic, we had two to three years to think about what we were going to do while we we're stuck in the house, right? Stocks went up when it comes to technologies and that sort of thing because everyone was purchasing electronics, right? These are times in history where you can take those giant leaps of forth to uh, get abundance, right? We have Page of Wands, Curiosity. Could be some sort of a journey. Could be a, an amateur pole dancer. So we have a young pole dancer here. Interesting. Hmm. Or a young content creator. This could be TikTok or something like that. <laughs> Swinging back like the, the metronome on the clock, right? TikTok. We have Ace of Wands, right? Very creative, very passionate, very driven, very insightful here. With the Sun card, mm, this is a lot of passion here. We have Page of Swords showing up. Page of Wands, huh, Ace of Wands, and then Page of Swords right on top of the Hierophant. This could be young marriage. Or having a child at a young age, possibly. Either way, there's a lot of success here. Maybe there's a child that needs to be born that's going to bring in success here. Time, right? Putting time into this, this situation. Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm. So you have the Page of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. <laughs> On top of the... Someone has a lot of ideas. They're very creative. There's a lot of success for them coming down the line. we got to clarify this last message before the rain comes in which we have the Ten of Cups. So this is Happily Ever After, Wish Fulfillment. Comes right on top of the Star card and the Relationship card, Justice, which is also business. So it looks like your abundance and everything is gonna come towards you once you're able to maintain some sort of a consistency when it comes to either work or relationship, right? Families build businesses and businesses build communities is what I'm getting. I'm not even sure I've ever said that before. But we have Ten and Ten, Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. Right, which is what everyone wants, right? This is how you get your sun card, right? Your love and marriage here, your happiness. Wealth. Right? Uh, good ideas, right? Planning for the future here. Good ideas with the Aquarius, right? Being open-minded and structuring things into a business, right? Business relationships, business marriage, that sort of thing. Uh, other majors, the hangman, someone has very big ideas, very big plans, very big goals, right? You always want to be knocking one thing off the bucket list, one after the other. This could be a very big business that you're implementing different ideas onto, right? Very creative. Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, Ace, Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands. Very creative here. It's almost like you get a different idea every day that you're needing to implement. So this is constant expansion, right? Your abundance... Uh, ever expanding here maybe because you're learning something new every day maybe you read a, a new book every week or something like that right this is what i talk about taking on new ideas learning something new every day to create abundance for you whether it's uh, mental emotional or financial right they're all one anyways hmm. i've never been a rich person but i've always been a rich person <laughs> either way if i was the brokest person in the room and my rich friends were accommodating and indulging me or my rich friends <laughs> not being able to pull cash out of their cards and i'm now the one on top carrying around cash for us to there's this freaking commercial on youtube right now with this black dude sitting in the car he just pulled up on someone and he's on his phone like yeah i have enough cash for tonight so that's what it reminds me of 
there's been times where I had to show up my rich friends, right? <laughs> And this is uh, cultivating relationships around you, man. So on, everyone has to bring something to the table. But 1010 uh, for you today, Cancer. We have the rain coming in, right? Like, share, subscribe. In order to have things grow, we have to water them. We have to constantly maintain them, right? If someone actually loves you, they have to be intentional and consistent with their love. If it's work, right, you have to be consistent uh, and, and maintain proper etiquette when it comes to your work life and your networking and the relationships you build around your finances, right? The wrong spouse could put you in a hole, right? The wrong uh, connection with someone could be a setup, right? Someone could lead you down the wrong path. But that is what I have for you here today. Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.